part seven, yo. So I'm not getting the type of audience that I want to have on YouTube. I'm, I'm really not having a, uh, a big success on YouTube. I was before. I was getting hundreds of views, more than you know, sometimes a thousand or whatever. It depends. So, you know, my views have, have uh, lowered, dwindled. That's the word that was in my mind to five and six now 10 16 is the most that i've gotten lately and i'm telling you guys vital information about the enemy and i mean important vital information about them the negative siders the devils amongst us information that you've never in your life have heard before not from jesus not from your pastor you never have heard the amount of information that I'm giving you before. Never in your life you will hear the enemy being being exposed the way I'm exposing them. I'm exposing I'm exposing their tricks. I'm exposing them in real life. Like you could literally see what's happening you could feel what's happening you know what's happening and this is happening in real time they're literally you could feel the energy right now that they're watching me right now in real time some of you when you watch my videos you know that the energy that's being portrayed in my, in, the, in my videos through my videos and stuff like that may haunt you sometimes sometimes you see that thing that used to fucking mess with me until you saw it right there the fucking image of it you see like they projected it. You see what I mean? They're the devil. And like if that thing came out of the fucking computer or the phone that you're using or whatever the fuck to, to watch this video or my videos and it started to mess with you and you just had to resort to Jesus. Or, don't do that. Jesus is a creation that they created. Even though Jesus represents something positive, it doesn't mean he's necessarily positive you see what I mean? because like jesus doesn't really talk to you you don't hear jesus in no way no shape or form they they tell you to rely on, on the holy spirit and you see that energy right there of, oh six 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 hey, man, i cry this and that like so, seven, seven 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 since i said those first numbers because they, they do like to act like if those numbers have some kind of power, some negative, and it does kind of re represent what they are. But anyways, so Jesus, it's a savior that you can't see, hear, touch, communicate with physically. So it's easy for them to fool you through something like that. Because you, if especially if you believe in Jesus. If you believe in something, in someone that you can't see, hear, touch, they're not here, and they tell you to rely on the Holy Spirit, the Holy Ghost, and it's something that you could feel, like the Satanists know how to manipulate those type of emotions, those type of sensations, like if, you know, it feels great and it feels holy and stuff like that, like if you got the Holy Spirit and you're just a fucking holy fool, you're, you're a fucking complete fucking fool. A fucking idiot. I could keep going with the words. Trust me. And I'm not bashing the Christians. I'm just calling it what it is. Because Freemasons created the Bible. Whether you want to hear it or not. Whether you want to accept it or not. Admit it or not. They created the Bible. And I already exposed it in my videos. Constantine went and collected all the books of the Bible. He was a Knights Templar member. The Knights Templar are a rank of Freemasons. They even have a section for Constantine, the Red Cross of, of Constantine. Look it up on Google. Google it. The Red Cross of Constantine. Anyways, that's a rank of Freemasonry, a high rank too. So Constantine went and collected the books and then he put it, he went and ordered a council to put the Bible together. That was when the first Bible was created at the Council of Nicaea. That's when they created the image of Jesus there, how Jesus was gonna be, uh, you know, that he was gonna be God, this and that. That's when they, they created the deception. 
And after that, they, they started to edit the Bible years on after that. Until now, we have the King James Version, which he was a Freemason and, and stuff like that. So anyways, I gave you guys so much information. Follow me and ask questions in the comment section. You Now you know the truth. The truth is God.